What the heck? Might as well. So you're gonna go across the column there. What's my total? Eleven plus four. That's fifteen. And then you go to the lower one. What's four plus nine? And that's thirteen. And now you go down each column. You go down each column. Eleven plus four is also fifteen. And uh, that's also thirteen. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Interesting data on. So I've got a Venn diagram here that is uh, female and like English, okay? So the intersection here is are the females that not only are female, but also like English, it's, 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 a, it's a shared interest. And so that would be the, on the two-way table, you look at female, English, 11 goes right where that intersection is. Okay? 11 goes where that intersection is. Okay? Now, of the people that just like English, well, that's, you guys see the total people that are, have English is 15? So we're missing the males that like English. So I got to put four out there because this represents the four in that spot is the four m males that like English. And then on this other part, the females not included in that is another four, and that is the amount of females that, that like math. They're female, but they prefer math over English, okay? So notice, I mean, this, these are really crazy. These are a little confusing for this, for this example because these numbers are the same. But you can see that the females, four plus 11, that's the total females. And 11 plus 4, that's the total amount of people that prefer English, okay? It's a little confusing because there's, there's, there's some similar numbers in this. But from this Venn diagram, we can figure out, we can randomly choose a student from the class, and we can figure out what's the probability of me picking a, a female out of this class just by chance. And it's, it's, the, amount, it's the number of females, the total... Over, over the other total, and I didn't do this column and row total. Remember, you got column and row totals here too. You got column and row totals, because when you add my row total, 15 plus 13, you get 28. When you add the column down here, you get 15 plus 13 is 28. So it's out of 28 total when we do this. 28 is our how many people there are in the, the class. So to figure out this first one, you're going to write down the number of female, which is 15, over the total is 28. I'm going to put it right next to the equal sign. And I'm, I'm not going to put these in, my, in the calculator for a percentage. I'm just going to do a fraction answer. Okay? Now, I can also do the complement, which is what P, no female, and... That would mean how many, how many males there are in the class. Well, there's 13 males in the class, so that'd be 13 over 28, All right? And when I say female and English, that's that, that, that's that Venn diagram intersection, that 11 people that are female and English in the two-way table, it's, it's that intersection. So it's gonna be 11 over 20, over, over total females, which is 15. Oh no, that's going to be all the total, 28. Female and English. So then we also can do female and not English, which would be this four number. And that would be four out of 28. So you see when you get it in the two-way table, it's a lot easier to answer these questions.
And then I can go up here to this next column. Probability of people just like in English would be this row total. So that would be 15 out of 28 again. And probability of, of no English, prefer, preference math, that would be the 13 out of 28. And then English and no female, that would be um, the four, the four, four out of 28. And you could reduce four 28s to, to one seventh if you wanted, but four 28s is fine. I'm gonna wait, this thing's kind of lagging. This is kind of lagging. Now you guys all knew this, this is review. This is all review. This is, uh, this is, we did this last week. This is 4.2 review, just so you guys know. Question two and question three is all from our notes last week that we did on section 4.2. All right, then the last one, probability of no female and no English. So no English, no female would be this score of male like in math and that's 9 out of 28 all right so that's how we can do the probabilities looking at the two-way table questions on that all right so this next one's a little tricky because we gotta take care of, we gotta take out the double counts. Because number three, when we look at the probability of female or English, what we're gonna do, this is, this is equal to the probability of female plus the probability of English but we, we gotta take out that shared little grid, the one that, that, that 11, okay? And so what we have to subtract here is uh, the female and English. The probability of female and English, that 11, all right? And we did that on the partner quiz last week. That was uh, number three. That was the third question on each of your partner quizzes. All right, so, so probability of female in this scenario is 15 out of 28. Probability of, of, of English is, uh, is 15 out of 28. And then the double count that we got to subtract is that upper box. Let me pull this down. So um, that 11 there is female and English. So we got to subtract 11 over 28. So 50, I'm going to just do the numerators. 15 plus 15 is 30. So we have 15, we have 30 28s. You guys see 30, 30 28ths is bigger than 100%. We can't have a probability bigger than 100%. So then we got to subtract the female and English. So 30 subtract 11 is 19. So that is our answer. It's 19 28ths. Okay. All right. Now, number four and number five, we're kind of looking at conditional probability. This is conditional probability. I know what we're going to talk about today. All right, so the probability that a student prefers English given that they are female. Okay, so you guys hear that? Given, that's like a predetermined condition. We're like applying uh, uh, not quite, we're applying kind of a, a, a we're pulling out of a, a, a sample, I guess would be the right word. 
And what we do, what, what, how we can do this, is we, can, we can say, what's the probability of English given that they're female? So the female is kind of the control group we're pulling out from. All right? That's how we write it. So, and this is, first one is the, is the probability of both events occurring. Divided by the probability of the given event. And the given event is always the second one. All right, so in this example, probability of English and female is 11. And probability out of how many total females is 15. So my answer would be 11 over 15. 11 over 15. And then because I'm pulling, my sample is going to be pulling from females. And this, this is conditional probability. This is, the, this is probability of, of, of having an English preference among all the females. That's just what it means. And then I can... Also look at what is the probability that a student prefers English given that they're male. So that's just uh, a similar. The only thing I'm going to change is my, my guide. So English given that they're male. So this is going to be the probability of both events. So how many, how many, males, how many males liked English? So that's going to be what's in my, my numerator. And then out of how many males? Yeah. So it's going to be four out of 13. 